Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Do y'all want this figure? Then go on over to Chosen Prime where they can take good care of you, man. They got everything from Transformers, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever your heart desires. Follow that link down in the description and you can buy this Transformer as well. So just tell them that Deluxe sends you and you might actually get a virtual hug. Oh, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And today we'll be taking a look at the Takara Rat Bat or Generations Rat Bat. Now, this was a Takara exclusive. This never came over to the States. And this is a recolor and a retool of the Generations or Classics, you know, Chug, whatever you want to call it, uh, Scourge. Now, he's, um, you know, B2 Bomber, I guess. I don't, I don't know if sure if it's a B2 Bomber. I know he's a bomber for the alt mode, but man, I love the colors on this guy, man. But look at this. This is so cool. I love this mold. Really do. And look at that. You even got a little bat head right there. You can see a little bat on top of him. That looks really cool. Love the purple. It's got that kind of swirly kind of mixture with that. Looks really good. You got this, um, not, I want to say black. It's kind of like a gray, dark, dark gray right here. Gold accent points right here for the windows. Looks really good. And up here too. I love that Decepticon symbol. Looks really nice. You got gold on top of his head. Like I said, you can see the little bat head. Looks really cool. I think this is a really great uh, mold to use as rat bat. And then on the other side right here, looks really good. And then the back, you got the thrusters. Looks really nice. Really good. I love that. Like I said, the purple. Underneath, you do got landing gear. You got two right here with little three wheels, and you got one right here. They don't roll, but uh, they are there. So that is pretty cool. It's got a nice uh, wingspan. Yeah, it's basically just a retool and a recolor. That's a new head sculpt and a recolor of their Scourge. But he looks really good. I love the colors on him. Looks very nice. So there you go. That is Generations Takara Ratbat in his alt mode. Yeah, real quick, there he is next to Scourge. Like I said, he is the, you know, the same mold. Really cool. So there they are. On top of that swirly, swirly purple plastic. And he's got the Scourge head up here, like that, peekabooing. A little creeper. Very nice, but yeah, pretty cool. I like this mold, especially with the, using the rat back colors. But here's the backs right here. The differences and stuff, so very awesome i love it so there you go there's comparisons with scourge and rat bat and there he is next to magic square prowl you got weepy yay and then you got siege red alert and uh the, he is deluxe scale if i didn't tell you if you didn't know that yeah he is deluxe all right so there's two little things i want to show you real quickly just like the scourge mode you do have a compartment you know to hold his weapons so you just open up the wings you just flip them open there's one and there's another one so that's a pretty cool other start. I'll show you that. I'll show you the guns uh, in bot mode. And then there's a fan mode that I saw. I was uh, watching a review of this. And so, well, let me just untag these. So there is a fan mode. It's, it's, it's okay, I guess. You know, it's a little, little weird. But you just do this. And then you can, I think you can turn this around. Let's see if I can turn this around. It's going to let me do it. Uh, Let's see how we can do this. Let me see if I can put that down. So let me turn this head around. There we go. All right. So you got that little bat mode right here. And then you can take his legs like you're going to transform him. And it kind of looks like a bat. I mean, a little bit. I guess you can do it like this if you want to. And... It's like this and kind of, you know, it's fan made, you know, it's just, it's not a, you know, a, a, a true mold that, you know, that they put in the structure or anything like that. It's just something I saw somebody do. And so, yeah, you have that option too, if you want to, if you have this figure, you have a little rat. So here's his wings and stuff. So just wanted to show you that real quickly. And, uh, yeah, we'll go back to a transformation.
back from transformation and here is Takara Generations Ratbat. And here he is holding his weapon. Now you have two choices. You can have him, you know, double wielding them or you can take this one off right here. And you can flip this up right here like that. And it has a little cute, uh, little C-clip right there. And there's a little part right here and you can make a super duper weapon right there. Or you can leave them in the wings like I showed you. You can leave them there too if you want to, if you don't want to carry a weapon. So pretty cool. Let me get this out. It is a tight fit. There's the weapon. It's no uh no paint or anything like that. It's kind of a uh navy blue. Kind of it's got some nice like a nice sheen to the plastic. I don't think it's paint or anything like that, but pretty cool. All right, so let's take a quick look at Rat Bat. I love it. Like I said, I love the purple and gold. The colors look really good. Let me see if I can get his head out a little further. All right, so there he is, the head sculpt. So I love it. He's got the nice silver uh, for the face, and you got the nice gold eyes, gold for the uh, ears right here on the side. All this purple is painted, it looks like. And you got gold for the rat head or the rat bat head. Or the bat head. Golly, not the rat bat. The bat head. <laughs> And there's a gold on the back right there as well. Gold over here. Now, I do got some chipping, you know, from transforming back and forth. You know, with great paint comes great chipping. And love the chest. Like I said, I love that Decepticon symbol with the nice uh, gold, silver, and this kind of, a, uh, I want to say dark gray paint right there. And also the Adam area is kind of a bluish tint to it. And then you got the purple swirly for the crotch area. You got some gold paint right here. This is all painted right here all the way down. And you got the windows when you saw in bomber mode. You do got some gold paint right up here. So very nice. And then here's that. That's silver painted right there. And here's the wingspan. And that's pretty cool. And you got the back right here, the feet. All right. So our, as far as articulation, you can look down. Uh, not much. Uh, not much. A little bit. Not much. But up, you can look quite a bit. Uh, this little thing goes with it uh, side to side. Uh, a little add to it as well, but I love the head sculpt. All right, go up to here like this, move it like that, all the way around. That is cool. You do get a eh, 90 degree uh, elbow bend, bicep swivel, swivel of the hand. Oh, the hands are painted too as well, purple. That looks really good. Nice manicured uh, fingers. <laughs> all right, now this is a you know kind of painted, but this does come to untab real easy. The back right here it tabs in right here. Uh, but the wings can go um, down and down and out and out. So they have a little range so you can move them out of the way. That is good. All right. The other hand is just the arm is the same. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. No ab crunch. You do have a Van Dam all day, every day. That's cool. Kicked up about right there. So not the full 90 degrees. This little area gets in the way. Now the butt flat does move out a little bit. So you can get some backward movement. Thigh swivel, very nice. You get like a 90 degree uh, uh, knee bend. So that's not bad. Guess what? No, I'll take that back. You can move. I'm sorry. You can move it back a little further. So yeah, you get more than 90 degrees. You just got to extend it a little bit. All right. So you got to toe tilt down a little bit, toe tilt up quite a bit. And you do have a rocker. So very nicely done, man. This has a great range of articulation for a chug scale deluxe figure. And then once again, the back, you do have a backpack. You know, you got the wings everywhere. So, but there you go. That is awesome. There is Rat Bat. And there he is next to Scourge. And I'll try to get them in the same area because they got do to have a wide wingspan in the back. But there you go. Like I said, it is a new head sculpt and a recolor mainly of it. There they are with that. That's cool. And there's the differences in colors. Even different color guns. Come on now. What are you gonna keep getting drunk on me? Come on. And there is the back. It's a pretty cool. Like I said I do like the uh, mold. It's a pretty cool scourge mold. But yeah, I love the rat back colors. So there you go, comparisons. Real quick, there he is next to Tiss McGee Retgar, and he is a Voyager scale. You got Optimus Prime, uh, you got Deluxe Scale Sideswipe, and Core Class Optimus Prime Scale. And Crapper Gone has crappy tool paper, some Carmex, Care Bear, Squeaks, and Kicker for more scale.
All right, let's talk about some Takara Generations Rat Bat. And like I said, he wasn't uh, available over here. You know, over here, uh, you can only get him overseas. But man, I really like this. He does have a couple issues. The shoulders are kind of wonky. It doesn't go out. That does come untabbed, and the back will come untabbed real easy too as well. Uh, if you're manipulating him, so just be wary of that. I'm sure if you have this mold, you already know about that. Uh, but the the shoulders are kind of wonky. They don't, you know, you can't really move outwards like that. You start untabbing it. I guess you could untab a little bit, but that does, uh, you know, cause a little um, hiccup in the uh, articulation and everything. Uh, but yeah, other than that, really good. I love the alt mode. The B2 bomber looks really good. I love the gold and the uh, kind of a na uh, dark gray. Uh, almost looks black and with the gold and everything looks really good. Transformation is really fun. Shouldn't take you that long, you know, long to figure it out. I'm sure you already have this mold. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, the, it looks really good. Love the head sculpt. I love the, you know, the little bat on the top of his head. That's awesome. That's a nice little touch. But yeah, it looks really good in bot mode. Uh, he does have the 80s woman's working shoulder pads going on, uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. But like I said, the, the, the shoulders are kind of a little wonky, but not terrible. Um, I like the gun. looks cool. You can make a super duper gun or you can do a weld them. That's pretty cool. Uh, paint, spectacular. I love the gold. I love the purple, kind of the dark gray. looks very good. Nice. got some nice silver here and there. But I love the head sculpt that, you know, it's really nicely done. Um, so the paint is top notch. Now it does have some chipping, like I said earlier, you know, with great paint comes great chipping. So, uh, transforming back and forth and being so old, you know, it does have some chipping here and there. Um, articulation, like I said, other than the shoulders, really good. You got a waist swivel. You got really nice feet articulation, uh, head motion and everything really just needs an app crunch and he'd be perfect, man. You know, you got this right here. You got some movement with the wings. But like I said, that will come on tag quite a bit while you're manipulating. Him, so that does get a pain in the butt. Um, but overall, materials feel good. I feel I still didn't feel like it's going to break anything when I transform him. Uh, engineering is good. Like I said, transformation is fun. I love the way the uh, shoulder or the arms transform when you pull out and you turn them around. That's pretty cool. But yeah, overall, really a great, great representation of Rat Bat. I think I even like it better than the Scourge. I just love the color scheme on him. So uh, that was my review. Hope you liked it. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me. It really helps out the channel. It really does, folks. And hit me on some comments. Tell me if you thought of the reviews. Anybody got this mold? Or does anybody got Scourge? Uh, yeah, if you do, what do you think of that? And um, I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Pew, pew. And as, uh, be good to yourself. And uh, hell Hasbro, as always. Hell freaking Hasbro and Takara. And good night, folks. Yeah, really cool. I like this mold. I'm um, like this, this was just a, one of the things I'm packing up and everything. I found it. I was like, oh man, I forgot I had this guy. So yeah, this was kind of a spur of the moment thing. So it looks good. Good night, folks. Y'all take care.